Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to comment a new defeat as usual and as predicted actually. Uh, as you can see we still have our B goalkeeper. Uh, well, he's improving that's for sure and he will be good in the future but right now I'm afraid he's not yet up to the task. So, uh, what we're going to do we're going to have a look at the, uh, the final score. As you can see, we lost 4-0. To be honest, I was not expecting such a uh, such a harsh score. I was expecting them to score quite a lot, but I was expecting ourselves to score quite a lot as well. So, yeah, I was not expecting this final outcome, this final, this final overall outcome, except for the fact that, of course. Uh, starting from Kanchali's uh, disqualification, everything changed. As you can see, uh, starting from the 68th minute when Kanchali was disqualified, was was sent out of the pitch, uh, the opponents were able to score, uh, well, all of their goals basically. So yeah, that was a game changer. Uh, this is sort of a good thing in the sense that despite having a very bizarre lineup we were able to to manage at least up until uh Cancelli was disqualified so 4-0 the final score 73 percent ball possession for the opponents 27 percent ball possession for us 17 shots for the opponents seven for us 11 shots on target for them four for us we were not able to score one single time out of four uh, shots on target and this is not extremely promising we have been scoring a lot in the past few matches uh, if if we consider the number of uh, shots on target the total number of shots on target but this time we were we were not able to then eight set pieces for them, one set piece for us, four yellow cards for them, one for us, and of course, well, actually two yellow cards. So one, a first one for Conchali, and then the second one for Conchali that led to the disqualification. Very bad indeed. The fact that next uh, that for the next match we will will not be able to play him, which is not good at all. So we're still here. In the league, we actually dropped down a couple positions. The situation's not very bad right now, but it's starting to look worse than I expected. Uh, we'll have to wait for our goalkeeper to come back. At least for the next match, we'll have our complete defence, I suppose. I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't had a look at the lineup. But we'll have a look at it tomorrow while preparing the new start in 11. And we'll see what happens. I'm still somewhat optimistic about this. Because I'm pretty sure that these, at least up to uh, Marino SV, are a team that we can beat uh, with, with our main goalkeeper. So stay tuned guys. We'll probably be able to turn this thing around. But we're losing a lot and I mean a lot of points down the road and uh, so yeah it's gonna turn out uh, yeah it's, it will turn out as a very interesting uh, season season finale so guys thanks a lot again for watching and see you in the next video bye